in the public's mind, it was going to be sort of a miracle if anybody was caught because so much time had elapsed. Then, 13 years later, a stone-cold case comes back to life. Was the psychic right all along? One evening, I was watching uh, a documentary that involved a, a woman by the name of Noreen Rainier. The use of psychics in police investigations is commonplace, but in Canada, almost unheard of. Will the psychic lead the OPP to a brutal serial killer? She described the, the uh, victims uh, very accurately, uh, right down to uh, the speech impediment on Tebenham and the character of Leclerc. When I got the Polaroid picture of the composite sketch, it didn't look like anybody in particular that we had looked at. And I said, yes, he's going to be 32 years old. He's going to have a mustache. And I saw the initial R. I didn't know if it was first or last name, but I saw R. Moran is stumped by Noreen's clues. The arrest finally vindicated a psychic who 13 years earlier accurately described both girls, their dark hair, Donna's braces, and Bernadette's feisty personality. She even envisioned their deaths. I'm having trouble breathing. But it was her sketch of the killer that police turned a blind eye to years ago that now came back to haunt them. The profile provided by Noreen Rainier uh, regarding a suspect uh, turned out it was, it was amazingly accurate. At the time of the murders, uh, Mr. Ronholm was only 19. We have a high school photograph, uh, Mr. Ronholm. The uh, prominent nose, the full mouth, the uh, length of the hair. Other puzzling clues offered by the psychic now seemed to make sense as well. I remember uh, Constable Moran saying, will we get him and when will we arrest him? And I said, yes, he's going to be 32 years old. He's going to have a mustache. And I saw the initial R. I didn't know if it was first or last name, but I saw R. So I was overjoyed that my information was right. Sad that it didn't help in a timely manner.